In this video, we are going to discuss about PPP and MLPPP. PPP is point to point protocol and MLPPP is multiple point to point protocol. So if you see here clearly, the point to point protocol as described in the RFC 1661 provides an encapsulation protocol for transporting the network layer traffic over point to point links such as asynchronous as you know asynchronous serial or it is also called as integrated service digital network. So, for this to happen what happens is the protocol the PPP encapsulate the traffic in the network and also it point to point links in between it will communicate. So, in the same way multi-link PPP as defined in the RFC 1990 is a variant of the PPP used to aggregate the multiple layer links and also which is called WAN links into one logical unit and or here the logical unit is nothing but a channel. So, imagine a channel or a logical unit so that one logical unit for the transport of the traffic. So, here the traffic will be transported through that one logical unit or channel here. So, this enables the load balancing of the traffic. So, whenever the load on one layer or one channel you see the one logical channel will be high. So, it will take the opportunity of the other logical channel so that to balance the load of the traffic transport between them. So, it, and also you can see here the different link allows some level of efficiency and also redundancy in case of line failure. So, this multiple channel you see here this single logical un, single logical channel here which is a combination of multiple links. So, when it also takes a part of the redundancy so that in the redundancy case the line failure occurs. So, to subside that line failure the redundancy is kept so that one channel will be taking charge when one channel has failed here. So, the Cisco implementation follows some standards to provide this transport happen between this single channel here. So, the functionality here uses high level data link control protocol as well as here you can see the encapsulating datagrams also takes place with this protocol. The second one is LCP which is the link control protocol to establish configure and test the data link connection as well as network control protocols also are used in the standards so that to negotiate configuration parameters. So, these are the protocols available to functionality of the Cisco devices as well as for this point to point protocols as well as multi link point to point protocols.